Happy New Year, everybody. What's going on? Ain't seen y'all in a while. TC here with IOBA News and Information. I haven't spoken about anything or on any subject uh, since probably late November, early December of last year, you know. I've been trying to kind of cool out and gather my thoughts and try to catch up with everything. I mean, so much shit going on until it's hard for you to keep up and give a meaningful commentary on the shit. I mean, that's why some guys, you know, they just post or they comment on things like once or twice a week. Um, but me, you know, I try to examine how I really feel about a subject before I come out and speak on it. Um, so much shit goes on and it's such a rapid pace until what they're talking about what they're talking about today or tomorrow will be all the way forgotten about, you know, two weeks from now. So I try to I try to gather my thoughts and get as much information as I can before I go running off at the motherfucking mouth about something. And um, I don't even know what I'm really talking about. So um, with that, I'm just going to touch on one or two items. All right. First. Uh, I'm looking at all of this information about this R. Kelly documentary that came out. Um, and um, people are asking me my opinion on it at work and stuff like that. Well, I haven't seen the documentary. I guess it's called Surviving R. Kelly or some shit like that. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Everybody in the black community um, with two brain cells to rub together knew that R. Kelly was a bit of a creep. Um, and everybody knew that he liked young girls and women that were not all the way women. Everybody knew that shit. This goes back to the 90s, early 90s. Like The first time I heard about it was probably 1994, 95, somewhere around there. Um, when he was uh when he was uh trying to get with Aaliyah. Now, my thing is this, man, all of them years, you're talking damn near thirty years, they had to prosecute or to at least come after this man for for uh his his bad habits with um them young women. But I can remember back in the middle nineties when um when um, I read an article about him and how he had to settle a bunch of lawsuits and things like that uh, from women that he had had, you know, issues with. So I always, I always knew, like every other black uh, black person, uh, knew that R. Kelly had some problems. But why the white media wait this long to come after him and try to and try to um, try to uh, bring him down? Well, I'll tell you why. It ain't got nothing to do with this bullshit Me Too movement. It's got something to do with what I think with, with this with this campaign to destroy heterosexual black men and every goddamn negative thing that comes down the pike, a heterosexual black man got to be the face of it, one way or another. Um, I mean, I, I just can't understand why they waited this long and now they, they, they got this all-out push to destroy this man. Well, after they get done with, with him, after they get finished with him, I wonder who they're going to come after next because they've touched on just about everybody, you know. And that's why I used to say, and I still say, actually, that we as black people should fucking divorce these fucking people in uh, some way, shape, or form and handle our own problems internally within our own community and keep them out of our shit. But we don't have enough people who think like that in places that matter in order for that to ever come about. But yeah, they're trying to destroy R. Kelly now. He's the next one on the uh he's the next one on the list of black men to bring down. And then what else is in the in the news? Oh yeah, well white supremacy is still white supremacy. Donald Trump is still crazy. Um, is, are they going to impeach him? I don't know. I think 
even if they do impeach him, that don't mean they'll take him and remove him from office. That just means that, you know, there'll be impeachment hearings and all of that. Uh, some people say that he'll probably step down before he allows himself to be impeached or some of his children to get indicted by that Mueller investigation. That shit's still going on. I mean, and they're looking at um, Don Jr., Don Donald Trump Jr. out of one eye. They, 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 he might be one of the people that gets indicted. And some of the pundits out there are saying that uh, if if uh, if they indict his son, he'll probably step down rather than have his son face criminal charges. I mean, that could that has the potential of costing them a lot of money. So we'll see what happens with that. But Donald Trump. It's still just as crazy and just as much of a asshole as he always was. Now I'm gonna tell you something now. With uh, with Donald Trump, his immigration policies, I can't altogether say that I, as a black man, am against totally against his immigration policies because he focused right now on people in coming from South America, and everybody knows that the vast majority of illegals don't come up to Mexico. They come over on fucking planes and ships from Europe and the Caribbean and Africa and places like that. And they all overstay their visa. Uh, those are the main people who are the illegal immigrants to this country. But he focused on Mexicans and Hispanics right now and, um, and uh, trying to keep, trying to, you know, fulfill a, a campaign promise because he got everybody all scared up that, uh, you know, Mexicans are sending terrorists up here and all of that bullshit. When the real terrorists, as we know, are the white boys who, who do these mass shootings and all of that, all of that shit. So Donald Trump is still going to do his thing. You know what, though? Honestly, I, I hope that motherfucker stay there for the next two years. And, um, and um, get everything, like I said before, get everything all fucked up, good and screwed up, you know? I mean, the government is shut down right now. That's another thing. There's this partial, so-called partial government shutdown going on that uh, Donald Trump said he was going to take ownership of. And as soon as it happened, he tried to shift the blame over to somebody else, to the Democrats. But the Democrats and the Republicans are both um, two sides of the same fucked up ass coin, but... They want everybody to think that they're fighting about this uh, about this uh, immigration policy and this border wall and all of this bullshit, but it is just that. It's bullshit. But let the government stay shut down. Let shit stay fucked up. Um, just like I said months and months ago, things are going to get all fucked up, and they are, when you put all of these white boys in charge of everything. So there's that. What else? Um... The wars are still going on. The, um, the only reason that Donald Trump is making noise about getting out of Syria is because he knows that he can't get out of Syria, not just like that. And I thought, he said 2,000, that we have 2,000 troops there. I thought there was more. But if there's only 2,000 troops in Syria, and what they say, six or 7,000 troops in Iraq, and what, 10,000 troops in Afghanistan. Well, you ain't really talking about that many troops because George W. Bush put 500,000 troops in Iraq. So if they want to go ahead and do an invasion in Iran, they can go ahead and do it. And I still believe wholeheartedly that that's going to happen, that invasion of Iran. That's going to happen. They just got to get it all gamed out and everything and maybe come up with an exit strategy, although the lack of an exit strategy never stopped them before. But um, I still believe that that's where that next war, next big war, is going gonna, is gonna to come in at. I know that um, we still bomb in seven or eight countries, and we still got all of these military bases all over the world, and so ain't nothing changed in, in that respect. Donald Trump just get on TV and talk that shit. But his advisors and his war hawks, they maintain the status quo. He'll say, well, I'm going to pull all of the troops out of here. or I'm going to um, 
stop this conflict over there. And then his advisors, John Bolton and all of them guys will go right behind him and say, no, we're not going to do this or we're not going to do that. Or it's going to take, it's going to be a long drawn out process or some find find some kind of way of walking back what Donald Trump said. So the more things change, the more they stay the same. But I just thought that I would stick my head up and let everybody know that TC's still out here and I'm still putting out that information. And I still have opinions on stuff. Um, I'm still posting on Black Junction. I still put a little... I still have to go through YouTube because Black Junction still... I don't know what's happening, but they still don't upload my videos the way they should. I did find another website, another um, black platform where my videos do upload directly to it, and I don't have to go through YouTube. That's something called Black Avenger TV. Um, so I'm going to start putting some stuff up over there, I think. But um, we'll see. I, I, um, I um, kind of like Black Junction. But I really hate the fact that I got to go through YouTube to get my videos to load. Um, I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks they will fix that or um, I'm just going to quit fucking with them all together and go over to this new platform. But anyway, man, y'all leave me a comment. Give, give me a thumbs up. And um, it's good to be back posting again. And I'll try to get something out. I'm going to try to level off at maybe once or twice a week as opposed to trying to post every day because I ain't even going to try to keep up with all of these developments as they go because, you know, I got other shit that I like to do. As many of y'all know, I'm a portrait artist I'm a, and, um, and um, I like to, you know, take my spare time and do, do my artwork and sell my artwork. Um, and also, I'm kind of a fitness uh, enthusiast and I like to talk about my workouts and things of that nature. So, um, I ain't got time to try to keep up with all this motherfucking bullshit. I just tell people, keep your wire, you keep your shit wired tight and just know them white people don't love you. They ain't your fucking friend, right? Um, don't ever trust them. Don't trust them no further than you can see them. Um, if you need a dose of reality or a cold slap in the face, put on some Professor Black Truth or some Tone Talks or some Claude Anderson or something like that. If you need a little chuckle with your with your uh, lecture, listen to a little bit of Tariq Nasheed. If you want to know what's really going on in the school districts around the country and how they funneling young black boys into special education, listen to Dr. Umar Johnson. And, you know, there's some other people out there too, but those are the ones that I mainly focus on and listen to. So anyway, that's it for now, y'all. Like I said, subscribe, hit me with the thumbs up, and be on the lookout. That's it for now, TC, and I'm out.